They say we all need to be able to laugh. Fuck the dumb shit. I got white heroes. One of my motherfucking white heroes is that white lady that tried to swim the English Channel. That bitch is my motherfucking hero. This bitch is trying to swim an ocean by her motherfucking self. <laughs> One white woman in the ocean by her motherfucking self with sharks and whatever the fuck is in there. <laughs> Dolphins and porpoises and shit. <laughs> That's not the part, minorities. It ain't that this white woman is swimming this ocean by herself. It's not that. She is swimming for free. <laughs> they not giving this bitch shit. She don't get a prize, a Prius, a ribbon, nothing. She just in the middle of the ocean, swimming her motherfucking ass off. Just Meanwhile, you can't get a black woman to get in the pool at the pool party. <laughs> it's this bitch pool and her pool party, she still ain't getting in. <laughs> this white woman got stung 176 times by jellyfish. What the? <laughs> when do you stop, ma'am? When it hits your vagina, is that when you stop? <laughs> When that tags that old clitoris, is that what? All right, bitch, get the boat, get the boat. We only got one of those. <laughs> Just saying, we all gotta be able to laugh. It's very important. Minorities, your life is hard. Sometimes you need to be able to just go home, laugh about some shit for 22 minutes, and then get back to your shit. <laughs> the best part is it's free. You just gotta do this shit. All right, start off, minorities, by if you feeling fucked up, find you a white show to watch with no niggas on it at all. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you this shit if it didn't work. <laughs> Two of my motherfucking favorite motherfucking shows I'm embarrassed to tell motherfuckers about. I watch every episode, but I don't be out in the open. I shut my curtains and hide and shit like 12 years a slave and don't want no other niggas to see me. <laughs> but I watch every episode. My favorite show for two years in a motherfucking row is still motherfucking Swamp People. That is my shit. Oh my God. If you have not seen this shit, you have not lived yet. This is some beautiful shit. I think I just like seeing my no uh, rednecks in a natural environment not killing minorities. I think that's what it is. I love this shit. I watch every episode, but I don't know why, because every episode is exactly <laughs> like the last goddamn episode. They don't change shit. Every episode start with a man in a boat going nowhere fast as shit. He just And he's saying some shit you can't fucking understand. <laughs> and then you accidentally understand some of the shit and it scares the shit out of you. He, he just, we got to go out there and get him, boy. We got to go out there and get him, boy. We don't go out there and get him, he ain't gonna get himself. <laughs> no, I guess he ain't gonna get himself. I guess that makes perfectly good sense. <laughs> These white men get out there in that swamp and they are catching 700, 800 pound alligators. And that's not the part, minorities. They are catching these alligators with their hands. <laughs> That's right, look at the niggas, don't even believe me. With their real hands. Not a weapon, not a stick, none of that. Stick their real hands in the water to get the alligator. Black people is at the house like, 
Don't stick your hand in there! <laughs> it's an alligator in that son of a bitch. <laughs> but when you see... You see that white man reach up out that motherfucking boat? Grab that motherfucking alligator line? The whole show, just shoot him, bit off, shoot him, shoot him, 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 shoot him, bit off, shoot him, shoot. Then the whole show just flips. Now they showing it from underwater, and it's muddy and bubbling and shit, like the alligator has a camera on his head. And he's in the show too, and then they cut to commercial. Every time I say, I will not be here when you get back. Just saying, we all need to be able to laugh. So for my white friends, here's something black you can laugh at. I've done the research. I'm pretty sure there's no coonery in there anywhere. I just know every time I see the shit, I fall on the ground laughing, almost pee myself. Okay, maybe the funniest shit I ever seen. There is a commercial starring a nigga named Matumbo. Now, if you have not seen this commercial, you have not lived yet, so let me say that. Now, if you don't know who Matumbo is, he used to play basketball, played for the NBA, maybe like in 1979 or some shit like that. But he was one of the greatest, known for blocking shots. That was his shit. Now they got this nigga just randomly running through white people's workplace, just randomly knocking shit out the air for no reason at all. Just, no, no, no. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? No, no, no. <laughs> Did I see that shit, I almost pee myself. <laughs> Many times I've been arrested, that might be the only thing I haven't tried. Stay tuned to TMZ. If I get pulled over one more motherfucking time, that's how the fuck I'm getting out my car. Just, no, no, no. <laughs> we already did this shit. Just saying, all gotta be able to laugh. Motherfuckers thought that because I was raised homophobic, that might have meant I was homophobic. Wait a minute, motherfucker, don't speak for me. <laughs> I can tell you how the fuck I feel. Just because I got an opinion don't mean shit. At the end of the motherfucking day, I thought we were talking about rights, and I thought we, it was human rights. I think they human rights. So if you are human, you deserve your motherfucking rights. The reason for that is I don't give a fuck what you are doing in your life because I'm too busy doing what the fuck I'm doing in my life. End quote. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, people thought that because I might have an opinion, that meant I was homophobic. No, 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 no. Let me say, let me say publicly. Let me see, very publicly. If there was a dude and I had some shit to say, that's not because I was homophobic, motherfucker. I'm not homophobic, I'm pro-pussy. There is a difference. I think you need to understand. I, I was trying to help. I wasn't coming from a place of hate. I thought some of them had made a mistake. I'm saying if you try a vagina and it leads you to a life of asshole, wait a minute. If at first you don't succeed, sir, try, try again. What the? You must have got the wrong vagina. They are delicious, huh? You should try another one. All of them are delicious, huh? But I realized, I realized there was a contradiction because if you ask me about gay dudes, I have some shit to say. But if you ask me about lesbians, I don't have shit to say about lesbians. I've already had this conversation with Jesus. He know I love lesbians. I don't even think lesbians should pay taxes. I really don't. I think they are already taking care of two vaginas. Just saying. 
We can't afford to be judging all the time. Our life is too motherfucking hard as it is. You gotta be able to just laugh some shit the fuck off. I just don't like when they try to force shit down our throats. Had Jason Collins come out as the first openly gay basketball player. Uh, that's fine and all, but nigga, you can't suck at both things. <laughs> We didn't know you was gay, and we didn't know you was a basketball player, nigga. What the fuck? This nigga averaged 0.3 points a game. We do that shit from the house. How the fuck he gonna be the first openly gay basketball player? Am I the old, only motherfucker in here old enough to remember Dennis Rodman? What the fuck was that shit? That was the first gay basketball player. Get the fuck out of here. I watched that nigga get 38 rebounds in foundation, mascara, eyeliner, eyelashes, lip gloss, chapstick, lipstick, rouge. That nigga's the master of the all-ass defense. He just... You want this rebound, you gonna have to touch my penis. No, no, no. Sometimes you just gotta be able to laugh. They had Michael Sams come out. He finna be first gay NFL player. And when that shit came out, everybody had an opinion. He was right here, and everybody over there had an opinion, and everybody over there had an opinion. But nobody's opinion was solid. They go up to the player, do you care that your teammate is gay? Hell no, I don't care what he chooses to do with his own personal life. As long as he comes in here ready to win championships and knows the playbook, then we have a teammate. You mean you don't mind sharing a shower with him? I can shower at the house, it ain't that big a deal, I'm saying. I'm generally fresh than a motherfucker anyway. Why the fuck? Just saying. Can't make judgment all the time. Sometimes you gotta be able to laugh. I don't have to be motherfucking political. I don't play football. I'm a football fan. I ain't in charge of the NFL. I love the NFL. I love to see football games. And as a fan, let me just say, it's gonna be some exciting shit when the first gay motherfucker walk home the field and all of y'all think it's gonna be regular. No the fuck it ain't. No, it's gonna be some exciting shit. You think you've been tackled before? <laughs> Nigga. You think you've been sacked before? I bet you ain't never been sacked till you get sacked by a six foot eight, 285 pound nigga that was looking at your ass anyway. <laughs> he just on the line. Just... <laughs> Boo, 42. That nigga's gonna sack you with love in his heart. We have a big dick malfunction. <laughs> so anyway, I wanna come out and finish, but all of my nuts are out of these pants right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't went nowhere. I'm just noticing my whole testicles sack is, uh, <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna try to just do the jokes from right here. I couldn't see the screen this whole time. Ladies, where are y'all at? Make some noise. You motherfuckers ain't shit. Y'all ladies talking about you love me and you didn't tell me my motherfucking perm had left the building 20 fucking minutes ago. You didn't say shit. I looked up there and thought I saw El DeBarge and Rick Fox walking up while I'm trying to talk to shit. I'll be right back. Give me 30 seconds.